Hello everyone, my name is Frendo and today I will be showing you how to use uh, Minecraft code builder files. I forgot what they're called. Uh, I literally looked right before I started recording. Or how how you open .mkcd files. So I recommend getting them from minecraftscripts.org. Main reason because I made this website. Yo, yo, that's why I see you guys. Haha, <laughs> I got my own custom domain. It only costed like $15. But yeah, so we're going to head over to all scripts. Uh, you're going to want to press view on what you want. Let's say I wanted Minecraft admin commands version 3.0. Download from Mediafire. You would click download. It would start downloading. Now I already have it downloaded. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and launch Minecraft Education Edition which if you visit the home page when I actually publish these links you should be able to click uh, download and install Minecraft Education Edition and sign in with your school account or work account and so anyways just go ahead and launch Minecraft Education Edition once you have launched Minecraft Education Edition you're gonna wanna go into your fun survival world or whatever world that you have created I'm just gonna make a brand new world for the sake of the video. I'm just gonna name it admin commands or fun admin commands to the difficulty to normal and show coordinates and uh, why not add our nice nuke add on so we can blow up villagers and go ahead and play. Also, make sure you have code builder enabled, the game setting. And here we are in our Minecraft world. And once we get here, uh, we can press C on the keyboard so the code builder opens up. It, it shouldn't pop up in full screen. I just had mine in, in full screen because I spent like 12 hours programming the stupid admin commands. But you're going to want to click import, import file. Hey, I interrupt this video to say that 0.0000001% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if that subscribe button is in fact red, please make it gray. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Choose file and click Minecraft admin commands v3, open, and then press go ahead. When you click go ahead, you should be brought here to this nice long script that took me like 12 hours to make because I was bored and had nothing else to do. And once you are here, you're going to want to click this nice shiny start button. And you should see I'm using Frendo's admin command script. Subscribe to Frendo on YouTube and visit his channel to learn how to download the admin commands and use them for yourself. Uh, so, we can go back to Opera. We have a long list of admin commands. Uh, let's just, why not build a, a TNT cannon? Wow. And then let's just go ahead and launch it because I, I, I have this is a showcase video. I'm showcasing this website. Wow. It works perfectly. Yes, and when you are on the website, it should tell you, like, how to use all these, like, when you run them. Or, if it doesn't, for some weird reason, you can actually open the code. It shows agent place back, and it'll show what it does. Like, the agent will place a block behind him. Uh, dusk. It's pretty obvious what that does. Changes the time to dusk. See? Uh, not nothing exciting here. Uh, agent, move forward. Just move your agent forward. But I mean, yeah, the admin commands are pretty useful for some reason. Are they're just like fun to troll? This is when I like to troll my friends at school. I just smite all. Literally, just smites everyone. And the really really cool. <laughs> what I was going to say before I accidentally pressed the stop recording button instead of the pause recording button was that um, the cool thing about having these scripts in Minecraft EDU is that you don't actually need to operate permissions. So you can join your friend's world, ha get, uh, spawn in a nice TNT cannon, or not TNT cannon, you can spawn in a nice, uh, oh wait, I did not execute the freaking script. Hold on. Sorry guys, I have like half a brain. Uh, so TNT tower, as you can see, you can just do this in your friend's world. They won't know what's going on unless they actually look in the chat and see you type in TNT tower. Then they'll suspect the, that you were the one who built it. And then they're going to kick you from the world. Then they're not going to be in your friend anymore. Then you're going to go to stage the depression. Then you're going to commit suicide. So, like, I kind of recommend doing this in your friend's world. 
because uh, if if they download these admin commands too, then they're probably going to be spamming this nice command the entire the entire game just on you. You're just going to be like rapidly spammed with lightning, and it's not going to be a good Minecraft experience for you, especially if you're working on the uh, nice school project. But uh, what the heck just happened? I don't even know. Okay, but anyways. Thank you guys for watching the video. I will see you guys in the next one. All links will be in the description. Peace out.